Hey guys, Jack Andrist here, back with another video. And in today's video, I'm gonna talk about the new 2021 Rolex Explorer. So yes, it's official. Rolex is making a new Explorer for 2021. And so in today's video, I figured I'd tell you everything we know about it and also take a look back at my predictions I made about two months ago to see how accurate I was. So jumping right into it, the biggest change with the Rolex Explorer is that the 39 millimeter case is now going back to the original 36 millimeter case. Very exciting for those of us with a smaller wrist size. I know I certainly was looking forward to this potential change and I'm very, very excited about it. Otherwise, you know, it's pretty standard. It looks basically like the Rolex Explorer, the 39 millimeter that came out, you know, not too long ago. Um, you know, otherwise it has a Rolex 3230 in-house movement with a 70 hour power reserve. Um, it has the easy link bracelet extension for five extra millimeters of extension on that bracelet. Uh, so, you know, that's really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's pretty straightforward. It's kind of what you would imagine a 36 millimeter Rolex Explorer would look like with all the modern features and specifications that Rolex has to offer these days. The one thing I do have to mention is they actually are making a two tone version which I find very interesting, not something I personally would have predicted. Um, I mean, I'm not really sure how many people were really into this idea. I know I personally see the Rolex Explorer as more of a sportier watch. I mean, it is a sport watch. And so I'm not really sure exactly how I feel about the two-tone look, but definitely exciting that they do have one now for those of us who are interested in it or wanted to at least see what that would look like. It is available now. Now, price-wise, I'll have the exact numbers on screen, but I believe the Rolex Explorer uh, with the all steel is about a little over $6,000. And the two-tone model is, I think, around $10,000. Again, I'll have the right numbers on screen. Not that any of us could probably actually get it right away uh, for the retail price, but I figured I would mention that. So let's talk about my predictions. For those of you who have been sort of following the channel, like I said in the earlier part of the video, about two months ago, I made a video talking about what I thought was going to happen with the Rolex Explorer. And I was actually sort of right. I made two really bold predictions, um, and I had a third extra guess in there. Uh, so number one, I thought it'd be a polar dial or they would have a polar dial variant, which is not the case. Only black dials here. Um, that's something I thought they might do because I think a lot of people would really be interested in it. But no, just the black dial for these upcoming models. And I actually predicted it would be 36 millimeters. Not the most bold prediction ever, but I did throw that out there and it was correct. We do now have a 36 millimeter modern Rolex Explorer, which is very, very exciting. My final little guess that I threw in that video was for the clasp, specifically having the glide lock system that we find on the Rolex Submariner. Now, it wasn't really as much of a prediction, more so just what I would like to see, because I do find that to be the superior adjustment system for Rolex clasps, but I do understand why it fits more so on the Rolex Submariner, and so thus we only have the easy lick system on this new Explorer. So that's pretty much it for this video, just a little recap as to what we see here with the new 2021 Rolex Explorer. Again, it's pretty straightforward, uh, you know, just a 36 millimeter version of the 39 millimeter version that we got a couple years ago um, and a two tone model, obviously, to boot. We can kind of take a look at as well. Um, I think, you know, it's kind of a no brainer. I think it's going to sell. Obviously, you know, it's Rolex. It's a sport model. Um, that's a no brainer. But um, I really like it. I think a lot of people are also going to like it a lot. Um, I think a lot of people really were excited for that sort of old school sizing of 36 millimeters. And it's nice to see Rolex actually scale down a little bit, you know, where they went up with those Rolex Submariners going up to, uh, you know, I believe 41 millimeters. Uh, now we have a scaling down of the Rolex Explorer. So really interesting to kind of figure out what Rolex is trying to do here. I thought they were trying to move everything a little bigger, but they're kind of bouncing off the catalog a little bit here. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this new Rolex Explorer model. Uh, I personally love the 36 millimeter size, but I'm not so sure about the two tone variant. Obviously I think it looks really nice, but I'm just not sure how it fits onto the more sporty, adventurous Rolex Explorer. But let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Would you buy the two-tone model? Do you like it? Do you like the 36 millimeter size? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section down below. And so that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.